I can't tell you guys how excited I was to see this on Tuesday morning. Merry Christmas everyone! How's it going? It's Zach and in this video I'm going to be giving my thoughts and reaction to the best early Christmas gift that any fantasy lover could have gotten this season. As I'm sure you're all very well aware, J.K. Rowling's beloved Harry Potter series came to a sad end a number of years ago. But, those aren't the only fantasy novels that she has at her disposal. Previously, as in Tuesday, like a few days ago, a trailer was finally released for the movie version of her book, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Harry Potter fans have been looking forward to this trailer for so long, and Rowling definitely did not disappoint. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is actually one of the textbooks that Hogwarts students use while they're going through their seven years of schooling. However, this story is not connected to Harry Potter. In actuality, this is set 70 years before Harry even came on the scene, even before Voldemort was around. This story follows the life of Newt Scamander in 1926, after he has been traveling the world researching magical creatures as a Meiji zoologist. He makes what he believes is going to be a very brief stop in New York, which takes the Wizarding World to America instead of the Britain that we all know and love. But while he's there, he encounters a nomad, the American term for a muggle, named Jacob Kowalski, who accidentally, or by some means, opens the briefcase of magical creatures that he has, and releases them onto the mobile world. The very first thing we see out of this trailer is a dark screen, and we hear Lumos Maxima for two times. This is incredibly similar to the beginning of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, where Harry was testing out Lumos Maxima when he was at the Dursleys. Making that reference at the very beginning of the trailer got me so excited and practically breathless as I'm watching it and my jaw is just hanging open because we finally have the trailer and then they pulled this on us. You guys know what you're doing and JK absolutely knew what she was doing. There's a brief little glimpse with a Ministry of Magic type organization in New York that I'm really hoping gets a little more light shed on it as the film gets closer. Maybe in a second trailer? The best two lines that I can find out of this trailer are... It was open. Just a switch. This is funny for you to say because of background information on his character. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you may already know that he is in the Hufflepuff house, who, to my mind, and probably the minds of a lot of other people are very kind, friendly, and following the rules sort of people. With Newt saying that he opened the box, that kind of adds a little bit of a rebellious side to him, which goes against the personality traits of a Hufflepuff. At the same time though, it does give a little bit of a nudge to the mischievous side of what people may classify as a stereotypical Hufflepuff. Logic to me says that because the briefcase was opened and some of its magical creatures were released, the movie is going to be focused mainly on getting those creatures back as well as a little bit more character development for Newt and the magical zoology world that he is a part of. All we have for a release date for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is November 2016, which isn't really much of a problem for me because there's a ton of things that's happening between now and then that I'm gonna have to use my time on. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I apologize that I haven't really been around much, but exams, studies, basically school life in general has been taking up all of my time. Hopefully in the new year, I'm going to be able to manage my time better so that I can do schoolwork, friends, and give you guys the information you want to hear, or just build the community that I'm hopefully getting started with. Harry Potter, as I've said before, is one of my biggest passions as a nerd, and I am never going to apologize for that. I love what I love, and I'm going to express that to the world. If people want to listen, I am more than happy to talk about it with them. And if you want to express something that you absolutely love, and other people don't get it, don't let them discourage you. Express who you are, and what you love, and 
you're going to make so much more out of life. If you guys want to check out my previous video in this series or on the channel in general, you can click the links down in the description below and up in the eye in the sky. It's been great chatting with you and I'll see you in my next video. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year.